Hi, this is Corey Wellness from Crop Pro Consulting. I'd like to discuss with you some opportunities to do variable rate herbicide applications using soil, water, and topography maps. At Frederick Farms, during spring scouting, we found an influx of foxtail barley in the salinity and depression areas of the field. Only volunteer canola was present in all the mid slopes and hills. Scouting observations were recorded in the crop records app so the farmer could see what we were finding. Pictures were taken of the various areas and noted on the GPS over top of the swap maps of the field. A spray prescription was developed using the swap maps for the field that had already previously been mapped 10 years ago. It clearly defined the areas of the field into the hills, mid-slopes, depressions and saline depressions that we needed to apply the prescription based off of. Variable rate prescription recommended was to use a standard rate of 0.33 litres of glyphosate at 6 gallons per acre on 83% of the field and use 12 gallons per acre on the depressions and salinity for the other 17% of the acres in the field. So as the sprayer travels up and down the field, it would be applying 6 gallons per acre in all the hills and mid slopes and as it de approaches depressions and salinity, you'll notice from this first shot that the rate goes up to 12 gallons per acre while it is in those zones. The rate continually fluctuates in response to the zones on the swap maps. In this next shot, you can see we're passing through a low spot, which was applying higher rates, and as a sprayer comes out of the low spot, you'll notice the rate now is going back down to six gallons per acre as it enters the mid slope. Eleven days after application, ground truthing shows that excellent control of foxtail barley has been achieved with this prescription. Now that you've seen that example, I'm going to show you a few more opportunities of how we can use swap maps to vary herbicide applications based on weed adaptation and some other factors related to soil, water and topography in the field. It's very common when out ground truthing swap maps that in areas of salinity you'll find weeds present such as kochia, foxtail barley and sow thistle. In wet, high organic matter areas, it's common to find weeds such as prostrate knotweed, plantain, hemp nettle, smartweed, round leaf mallow, and chickweed. On hills, dry areas, it's more common to find weeds such as wild millet. First example, I'm going to discuss the use of a product called Authority, commonly used for kochia and crops. And in this example, it's with a mustard crop and the producer was concerned over crop injury and low organic matter dry spots of the field. And you can see on the authority use rate chart is based on percent organic matter and the soil texture, which we obviously model very closely with our swap maps. So we built the producer a prescription to apply low rates on low organic matter dry areas of the field by varying the water volume of his sprayer. This prescription worked well, varying the rates from 6 to as high as 10 gallons per acre across the field to reduce his potential for crop injury while still maintaining good kochia control in the areas that were more prone to having high kochia populations. Floaters are a very common piece of equipment that we work with for blind variable rate fertilizer, but they often have multiple bins and some of those smaller bins could be used to variable rate apply granular products. An obvious opportunity to do variable rate granular products is with Edge and Avidex, which have use rates based on organic matter and soil texture. 
in zones one to three. These are areas with low organic matter, coarse texture, are typically drier and would have fewer wild oats. Whereas the green zones, seven to 10, would require higher rates due to having higher organic matter, finer texture, they're wetter and have more wild oats. While swap maps are most commonly used to optimize production, variable rate seed and fertilizer out in the field and create as competitive a crop as possible to compete with weeds, it can also be used for variable rate herbicide applications for weed adaptations to various parts of the field and herbicides that need to be applied based on moisture, soil textures and organic matter. One of the greatest advantages to swap maps is that the maps can be used years later. Additional prescriptions for swap maps be as low as $50 a piece. So once swap maps are built for years to come, producers can use them for herbicide applications for many, many opportunities.